Yeah, yeah. we have to boil him up all the time with lotion and coconut oil mix. Mm-hmm. What's the matter? He was on me all the time, so he could feel my heartbeat and he felt like he was safe. We had to keep him really warm. We have to feed him every four hours. Waidu used to be a really, really lovely wombat. He was gentle, he was loving. He'd snuggle up into you. And then he turned into a teenager. Oh. He's this little monster. So did you bite by you? Ah, I'm trusting you, buddy. I'm trusting you, little man. He's such a naughty boy. You can just see his little mind that just ticks over, you know, like going, hip, hip, here, what can I get up to next? Don't you bite my couch. We just live around him. He's the boss. There's not much in the whole area that he hasn't managed to find his way into. He was one day in the clothes dryer because we yep. had the door open. He just makes you laugh continuously. He loves Bronte. Bronte is his dad. Oh. I'd leave the telling off to Linda, so I think he sort of bonded to me pretty well. We'll go for a walk in the yard and he'll just trot along behind. He's like that little pup. He's right into this jumping, but like he'll jump into Bronte's arms. Bronte's able to put his finger right in his mouth and he'll chew on it but not hurt him. I bought my head. Me too. King of the castle. When South Australia, the SA government tell us we cannot release back into the wild, this little fellow will be with us for 30 years because he's going to be lifelong with us. We really want him to be happy and in his natural environment as much as we possibly can. He's part of the family. Oh, look at the baby. Look at the baby boy.